एट जनवरी टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी थ्री मधुपन अव्यक्त बाप ओम शांति रिवाइज ट्वेंटी थर्ड ऑफ अप्रैल नाइनटीन नाइन्टी थ्री द मुरलीज टाइटल इज मे यू हैव एन इंटेलेक्ट फील्ड विद फेथ मे यू बी इन मॉटल एक्सेप्टम द लव्ड filled invitation from all the senior brothers and sisters who had come for the celebration of their silver jubilee avyakta bab dada came into the gathering of the children for half an hour and after giving sweet drishti to everyone spoke a few elevated versions at the end baba waved good bye and took leave from everyone today bab dada has come to celebrate a meeting with all the extremely loving souls those who have been cooperative in the establishment of the yagya from the beginning those who have been victorious on the basis of their intellects having faith and who have passed the papers of the many different types of problems and those souls who have been loving cooperative unshakable and immovable from the beginning baba has come to those children who are moving along having passed and the subject of faith this faith will constantly continue to give you the experience of victory and thus life and in your future lives the blessings of faith and immortality it's constantly with you today baba has especially come because of the remembrance and bond of love of the experienced mature souls means elderly brahmins over a long period of time congratulations for your faith on the one side there are the foundation souls of the yagya that is those of the fort of the pandavas in front of the baba and on the other side are all of your experienced souls of the very beginning the first bricks of the wall of the fort of the pandavas the foundation is in front of baba and the first bricks on the basis of which the fort has become strong and a canopy of protection for the world are also in front of baba so just as baba out of love for the children has demonstrated the part of g huzur hazir means yes my lord i am present and became present and the form of the children in the same way constantly content to say ji hazir means present my lord to the shrimat and directions of bab dada and the instrument souls do not ever mix wasteful manmat or parmat with this knowing the law to be present on the basis of following shrimat content to fly samcha means understand acha bab dada speaking to madhavan residents while giving them congratulations for their service acha many many congratulations especially to the madhavan residents throughout the whole season you have been instruments to serve everyone with your sweetness and tireless service so many many congratulations to the madhavan residents in particular as they are the first ones who are the instrument servers for the whole season madhavan is honey that is sweetness sweetness makes everyone love the father and that is why whether they are sitting in hall or half gone away bab dada is giving each department special congratulations for their service with the blessings may you be tireless and sweet 
and tending to move forward and fly personal meetings with avyakta bhaktada first group carelessness brings weakness and therefore always remain alert all of you are the elevated souls of the confluence age are you not what is the speciality of the confluence age which no other age has the speciality of the confluence age is that you receive instant fruit and you also experience multi million fold return of one in this birth itself you receive instant fruit do you not if you have courage for even a second for how much longer do you content to receive help when you serve even what person you receive so much happiness so multi million fold attainment from one means you receive the instant fruit at the confluence age itself so you enjoy eating fresh fruit do you not so all of you are those who eat instant fruit that is fresh fruit and this is why you are powerful you are not weak are you all of you are powerful do not allow any weakness to come when you are healthy weakness automatically finishes you constantly content to receive power from the almighty authority father so how can you be weak can weakness come does it come by mistake when you go to sleep as kumbhakarna while being careless it can come otherwise it cannot come all of you are a lot are you not are you careless are all of you alert are you always alert at the confluence age when you found the father you found everything so you would remain alert would you not those who continually receiving so many attainments remain so alert when businessmen profit in their business would they be careless or be loud so how much do you receive in a second so how can you be careless the father has given you all attainments since all powers are with you carelessness cannot come always remain clever always remain cautious bad dada always says uk is okay so those who are okay are okay because they are alert the foundation is powerful and this is why all the twins and branches that have emerged are also powerful baba and father brahma have especially led the first foundation with their heart in london it is especially loved by father brahma so you souls always have a right to the instant fruit even before you perform any action its fruit is ready for you it feels like that doesn't it or does it feel like hard work while singing and dancing you continue to eat the fruit in any case you double foreigners like fruit do it not bad that the two is pleased to see the children who are in the uk and so okay always remember this title of yours it is the best title all of you are those who remain constantly okay and also mix others okay with your faces your words and attitudes this is the service you have to do is it not it is good and you have a good interest in serving whoever has come from wherever all of you are intense effort makers and those in the flying stage who remains in the happiest say with intoxication i do apart from happiness what else is there happiness is the nourishment for brahman life how can you move along 
without your nourishment you are moving along but it is because you are receiving nourishment that you are moving along the places are also increasing look earlier it used to be a big deal to get three feet of land and what does it feel like now it feels easy does it not so london has performed wonders means we have now received 50 acres of land means purchase of the global retreat center those who give courage to others are good and those who remain courageous are also good look how could it happen if it weren't for each one's finger so every one of you from the uk is lucky and is courageous in giving your finger second group hand over all your responsibilities to the father and become carefree emperors do you constantly experience yourselves to be carefree emperors or are there a few worries since the father has taken your responsibility why would you worry about responsibility the only responsibility you have now is to move along with the father that too is to move along with the father not alone so what worry do you have do you worry about what is going to happen tomorrow do you worry about your job do you have any worries about what is going to happen in the world it is because you know that whatever is going to happen it will be good for you you have this faith do you not is it firm faith or does it sometimes shake where there is a firm faith victory is guaranteed with that faith you also have the faith that victory is guaranteed do you not or do you sometimes think about whether you will have victory or not you are victorious every cycle and will always be you are once again seeing your memorials of the previous cycle are you not you have this much faith do you not that you are victorious every cycle do you have this much faith it was you and the previous cycle too was it not or what did someone else so always remember that you are the victorious wells those whose intellects have faith you are such a dwells that even bad dada remembers you you have this happiness do you not you stay in love of pleasure do you not contemplations for this alokic divine elevated boat and of arriving at your home madhupan third group the father and i remain combined in such a way that no one can ever separate you do all of you experience yourselves to be constantly combined with the father no one can ever separate those who remain combined you have been combined many times you are now and will always be in the future too is this form so constantly remain very strongly combined so always be aware we were combined we are combined and we will constantly be combined no one has the power to separate those who have remained combined countless times what is the sign of love means to remain combined physically even out of compulsion you sometimes have to stay apart there may be love but in certain circumstances you have to stay apart however here it is not a question of the body means physical you can go somewhere far away in a second there is the company of the souls with the god god fulfills the responsibility of his company anywhere and he fulfills the responsibility of love with each one in the combined form what would each one see 
my baba or what they say your baba h1 would say my baba so why do you say my it is because you have a right that you say this you have love and you also have a right where there is love there is also a right you have the intoxication of having this right do you know you have received such a huge right you will not receive such a huge right even in the golden age you don't have got the rights in any other age you have this attainment here the reward is in the golden age but the time of attaining is now so there is so much happiness when you attain something once you have attain something it becomes common but while you are attaining something the intoxication and happiness of that time is a lucky so you have so much happiness and intoxication because the one who is giving is also unlimited so the bestower is unlimited and what you receive is unlimited so what are you a master of the limited or the unlimited you made all the three worlds belong to you the incorporeal world and the subtle regions are your home your kingdom is going to come in the physical world so you have a right to all three worlds so who are you souls who have a right do you lack anything what song do you sing means i have attain that which i wanted to attain i have attain what i wanted now nothing remains to be attain so do you sing the song or are you lacking something i want money i want house i want a politician seat you want nothing because even if you have a seat of some position there is no guarantee for even one birth whereas how much guarantee do you have you have a guarantee of 21 births maya hasn't stolen your guarantee card hatri just as when you lose your passport everything becomes so difficult so maya hasn't taken your guarantee card hat she she plays hide and seek so what do you do then became so powerful that maya does not have any courage fourth group perform every action as a trikal darshi do all of you experience yourselves to be souls seated on your throne what would you say have you received your throne now or will you receive it in the future will everyone sit on a throne means the heart throne is very big the heart throne is big but how many will sit on the golden age throne at one time always can be seated on the throne but you will be part of the royal family of those who have a right to the throne will you not you will not all be able to sit on the throne together will you at this time all of you are seated on a throne and this is why there is the importance of this birth however many and whoever wants to can be seated on the heart throne is there any other throne at this time which one a kal takht means the immortal throne the throne of your imperishable souls is the forehead so you are seated on the throne of the forehead and also on the heart throne you have double thrones do you not do you have the intoxication of being a soul seated on the immortal throne of the forehead a soul who is seated on the throne had sovereignty over the self and this is why such a soul is a master of the self having the awareness of self sovereignty easily gives you 
the experience of all attainments from the Father. So, you have the knowledge of all three thrones. You are knowledgeful, are you not? Are you also powerful or are you just knowledgeful? Are you just as powerful as you are knowledgeful? Or are you more knowledgeful and less powerful? You are cleverer in knowledge. You are knowledgeful and also powerful. Both. So stay constantly aware of all three thrones. In knowledge, there is the importance of praise. You know about the three aspects of time or do you simply know about the present time? Whenever you perform any action, do you perform it as a Trikal Darshi? Or do you act while only knowing one aspect of it? Who are you? Knowers of the one aspect of time or three aspects of time? Do you know what is going to happen tomorrow? You see, we know that whatever is going to happen tomorrow will be very good. You know thus much, do you not? So that makes you Trikal Darshi, does it not? Whatever has already happened was good. What is happening is even better and whatever is going to happen will be very good. You have the faith, do you not? That whatever will happen will be the best. Nothing bad can happen. Why? You have found the best of all fathers, you have become the best of all, and you are performing the best of all actions. So, everything is good, is it not? Or is it a little bad and a little good? Since you know that you are elevated souls, then the thoughts, words, and actions of elevated souls would be the best of all, would they not? So stay constantly aware that since you have found the benevolent father, there is always benefit and more benefit. The father is called the world benefactor and you are master world benefactors. Since you are those who benefit the world, there cannot be anything that is not beneficial for you. This is why you must have the faith that Every moment, every task and every thought is beneficial. The confluence age is also called the beneficial age. So there cannot be anything where there is no attainment. So what will you remember? Whatever is happening and whatever is going to happen will be the best of all. This awareness will constantly continue to make you move forward. Acha. You are hosting the father's flag everywhere in the world. All of you are moving forward with courage and intense effort and you will continue to move forward. You can see the future, can you not? When anyone asks you what your future is, tell them we know it is the best of all. Blessing. May you become a carefree emperor and free from all worries by seeing the elevated line of your fortune on your forehead. Explanation The sovereignty of being carefree is the highest sovereignty of all. If someone puts on a crown and sits on the throne but continues to worry, then is that being seated on a throne or is that worry? God, the bestower of fortune, has drawn the line of your elevated fortune on your foreheads. And so, you have become carefree emperors. So, always content to see your elevated line of fortune on your forehead. Wow, my elevated godly fortune. Maintain the spiritual intoxication and all worries will finish. Slogan Invoking souls with the power of concentration and by doing spiritual service is real service. Om Shanti